minutes of your break. Uh, we owe you from yesterday, we owe you the birthday attack. Today we are already one day older, so wiser, and we have a backup. It's uh, in a video if something happens, but uh, okay. So if you remember, we just want to corrupt the uh, to, to, to corrupt the memory with some uh, garbage in the right place and to log in as root into your super protected <laughs> VM with a special key. Okay, Rodrigo. So here we go. First of all, like, really sorry for yesterday. It was supposed to work. It was my bad that it did not. So I, as I think like everybody remembers, like um, the idea here is like one VM attacking the other. So we have two VMs. The, De the Debian VM, which is here, and then the Red Hat VM, which is here, right? So the Red Hat VM is the attacker, the Debian VM is the victim. So every time that I try to log in on the, uh, the victim VM, a breakpoint is hit. As you can see, I just typed the username and it hit a breakpoint. So I, I, I am sure that I'm debugging the right process. So I just continued. You can see that it's asking for a password. It's a normal VM, right? You try to log into it, username, password. If you type whatever password, hopefully you don't know the password of whoever you're attacking. If you do, you just log in, but if you don't, you have a problem. So now, what we're gonna do is, instead of like just hitting the breakpoint and just continue the process like we did, I will just corrupt the memory and then continue. And luckily enough, there is no asking for a password anymore. As you can see, like the prompt is given, we are root. And uh, let's suppose that by mistake, you got access, but uh, you log out. So cool, what you do, you just type again, again it will hit your breakpoint, again you corrupt the memory, again you continue, and again you have root. No passwords asked. And what if you basically try to log in, and now, instead of like corrupting the memory, you just say continue. Well, then it asks for a password. And we can keep repeating it. As I said, the attack is very reliable. It, I, it didn't work yesterday because I was just using the wrong corruption value, so the value was not big enough because we changed the data. But basically, the attack is very reliable. You can keep repeating it as, ma as many times as you like, and every time you basically get a shell. So that was it. Thank you very much. Just one last comment, the date of the birthday, we didn't have enough digits, and what the demo we showed uh, before in the slides had the nine digits of, uh, of pi, and one was missing, and this didn't corrupt uh, everything we wanted, so this is why it failed. And uh, that's it, now you can be happy or sad, depending <laughs> on which side you are. You're hackers, right? So be happy. Okay, thank you very much.